I want to share with you how you can make $10,000 a month as a beginner lash artist and permanent makeup artist. So when I started out, guys, um, it's not easy. I am, you know, I have so many ways of doing it. There are, um, there are people who printed out leaflets, uh, mm. having yard signs, having, um, you know, uh, business cards and all that, all that um, promotions, marketing. Are you about self, uh, self advertising? Promoting, right. Okay. So I, what I did is that, you know, I went out and asked. I asked if maybe I made, um, I made um, a promise. I said, well, I need to get two clients, new clients a day, right? <clears throat> I started out with two and I would ask them for a free set, right? So my goal is to be able to build up to eight clients a day. So you you offer a, them a free set of lashes. Mm -hmm. I offer them a free set. First and set then, is free. Right. And then I would ask them immediately book them back in next two weeks. And on top of that, I would ask them, hey, uh, let's just say, Nancy, okay. <laughs> would you mind lending me your eyelashes? And, <laughs> lending uh, me your eyes. <laughs> I would give you a free set. <laughs> so by the end of the day, oh, you'd be you'd be happy, wouldn't you? Now this is to build your clientele and yeah. your practice, right? right Practicing right, and right. So on top of that, the minute that you finish this uh, free set, you then book them right away. So in about two weeks, you already have two clients. So you rebook them for a fill. Rebook them for a fill, and you charge them minimum. Uh, fees of a uh, refill, which is fifty dollars. Okay? okay, and then on top of that, I would ask you to ask your friend if you can bring in another two friends. That would be four people. Now, with those right? other two friends, do you give them the same deal? Yes. First sets free. Fill. Mm -hmm. Fills would, you got to charge. I would give them a a, a free deal, <clears throat> right? And then those two will come back in the next two weeks to get to be charged fifty dollars a piece. So you build that in about a month to a month and a half. Um, then guess what? As long as you build within a short period of time, month to two months, eight clients a day. Eight clients of retouch in a day and $50 per piece. So that would be, what, 50 clients in a week. You work five days, right? Or six days. And that would be 50 clients a week times fifty dollars, so that's twenty five hundred. Oh, right? there you go. So that's your goal. Your goal is to be able to climb yourself, work yourself <laughs> up to fifty clients of touch up a week. Now I understand that was pre COVID, but now you have permanent makeup in your you know um, your course of the day. So bring that into your services that will even jump higher so incorporate yeah. a couple of like microblading or permanent yeah. makeup lips exactly eyeliner. so if you even if you put in one microblading a day um let's just say you're starting out working at 250 350 right and i would set myself set yourself a short goal you know, setting it where, you know, you say, okay, I'm going to get this down, all the skills down to a perfection in a month or two months. And that's it. And after that, you would increase to your normal fees, whether it's probably, you know, at 450 or 550. So it just all depends on the area. But make a determination, make a goal, set that goal, get that 50 clients in as a base, Make that 2500 a week, and that's about 10000 a month. So you could start out just 10000 a month and up. Doing lashes. So doing lashes minimum. and permanent makeup. And permanent makeup, but minimum right. doing lashes. Speaking right. of lashes, yeah. what we're going to give away today is we're going to give away our 0 .05 um, lash. These are volume lashes, Curl C, 12 millimeters in length. Yay. So start thinking of a number. This is what we're going to send you. I didn't get that when I started out. <laughs> Nobody gave me anything free. We're giving you stuff <laughs> to start your business. Right, right. So, to, as, you know, as far as today's topic, we wanted to gear you, prep you, and give you an insight of 
how to begin your lash and permanent makeup career. So um, that, that's the whole point is to be able for you to build a basic uh, minimum of uh, appointments a week in order for you to get that goal, which is $10,000 or more. And, and, and basically, if you put your mind into it, you can do it. So let's break it down a little bit. If they're going to bring in 50 clients, yeah. 50 new clients, mm -hmm. how many clients a day is that, you said? Um, that would be a minimum of um, eight clients a day. Eight clients a day. So yes. that's with the fill. With the so fill. With just, fills, just the fills only. So fills will take you maybe an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. So for incorporate us, that into your time. Yeah. For us, it's 45 minutes. You get 15 yeah. minutes kind of in and out, moving in but and out. But if you're client. first starting out, you're a little bit nervous. Right. But you already did that full set. So all you're doing is going in there and you're taking out the old ones and you're sticking in the new ones. And yeah. You're going to build up your speed, especially if you got a client coming right behind that next client. So you're going right. to be trying to right. hurry it up. Right. So I understand when you're starting out, you, you cannot speed up to that amount of time. But we're talking about giving yourself a break of between a month and two months to build all this up. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to start out right away. If first month, first week, mm -hmm. immediately get all these clients, you know. So um, your, your goal is to get that 50 a week, right? Every week isn't bad. Yeah, so that those 50 would come back in the next two weeks. So all you have to do is just, you know, get that 100 in total in a month. And then snowball effect. Don't yeah, it's a snowball. Back and back and back. Right, exactly. And guys, that's just the lashes. And, you know, mm -hmm. um, and then you add in permanent makeup. Um, in the future videos, we're going to mention of how you're going to multiply yourself and moving yourself out of all that, you know, back-to-back uh, -back services and putting yourself up in a, you know, higher level of, of working. So get yourself out and, you know, and instead of you sitting there all the time and um, trying to do all these applications, you just got a little break and built yourself even higher level of um, financial revenues. And the clients that you're doing are um, your advertisement. They're your walking advertisement. Because mm -hmm. anywhere you go, somebody's going to say, I love your lashes, who does them? Or how do I get them done? It's very easy to build up your clientele mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I hope that would help you. Okay. So uh, before I um, uh, go into the next one, um, we're going to go ahead and kind of mention, you know, in a way that stay with me, uh, that giveaway at the end of, of, uh, of a start, show. Yeah, start thinking of your number. <laughs> so more or less, these lashes that I'm giving away today, or we're giving away today, they're the synthet <laughs> can do synthetic <laughs> silk mink lashes. These are handmade. Mm -hmm. You want to say exactly. something about that? It's um, one person just doing I know. these, Guys, putting them you know, together. This is, this is very These intricate. are not ba made by a machine. No. Uh, <laughs> There would be someone sitting somewhere way over there on the other, <laughs> you know, side of the She's earth. She's got connections. <laughs> <laughs> they literally just take one hair at a time and place them in these lines. Okay, so uh, one of these days I will show the, you the process of how these lashes yeah. were made. So it's very intricate. And so when you, when you have these lashes, so take precious you know, with it and be and and be uh, appreciated. Appreciated that you know somebody it was is made actually with making these. Yes, one yes. by one, applying them to this sticky strip, right? <laughs> so that you can create volume lashes. Yeah, right. So, guys, uh, okay, moving on. I would like uh, our next um, uh, topic that I want to mention is that um, how much does it cost you? So, um, what I want to elaborate this whole question is that. The minute you wait, moving, stepping into the successful career as a lash artist and permanent makeup artist, it will cost you of all the potential financial incomes that you could make. So let's just say what we talked earlier about a day, if you're making um, $50 a, a, a touch-up and there were eight of them, so that's $400 a day, right? So, how much does it cost you if you're not going to start this career right now? So, what she's saying is you are losing money by waiting. Exactly. Exactly. So, if you're not starting it today, you're losing $400 a day starting today. Now, and let me, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. 
how often do you take care of other people? Are you always the person taking care of everybody else? Mm -hmm. When is it going to be time for you to take care of yourself and do something you want to do and put yourself first? Wow. Because once that starts, you're going to start you're going to start doing everything for yourself and making yourself money mm -hmm. and making yeah. yourself happy. <laughs> that right? made me really think. I don't know about you, but I know there are so many things out there that I wanted to start. And uh, what you say really uh, resonated with me because I wanted to, to start right away of what it's waiting for me. Because the minute I wait, it costs me that amount of value that I could have made. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for, for instance, like I mentioned earlier, $400 a day that you could do eyelash extensions or permanent makeup. If you wait for a month, so how much it costs you? It, it will cost you $10,000 a month. Now, I have, I have <laughs> students that are sending me their videos of them working, and they're actually working on their their desk on their lunch break, wow. practicing doing lashes on a mannequin head. Wow. I mean, that's, wow. that's you know, they're still working. They're right. just putting in a little mm -hmm. extra time during mm -hmm. their lunch break to take the course and to learn how to do lashes and, and better perfect their yeah. techniques. And I think uh, that those extra times is a lot of people think, oh my God, you know, that means nothing. You know, oh, that's just like time, yeah, extra time that you put it in. But guys, those are money times. You have to put that in. If you don't put it in all those times that you have extra that you put in, those will cost you in the future as well. So you rather invest in those time. Those are money. You want to invest it in anyway. So little by little, all that investment will return to you in folds. And then you'll become the money maker. And then your husband or significant other can watch the kids. Wow. <laughs> I like that math. <laughs> it's all about the husband doing everything, right? <laughs> I probably would do that too. <laughs> but, but guys, uh, all in all here, what we wanted to give you as an overall of how you can start this lucrative career uh, where it can benefit you at this moment on. So uh, make that initiative um, uh, move and, uh, you know, get yourself going because who you are right now will determine who you are in the next five years. So I, I hope you, um, um, you know, kind of wake up and see if this is for you. And, you know, we, we're here. You know, our academy here is always going to be here and, and help you in many ways to achieve your goal. so um, And if you have questions, feel free to call. Ask for me. Um, our number is 951-800-8007. Yeah. Ask for me. If you have any questions, I will be more than happy to help you out. You can email me. You can email Tanya. Mm -hmm. I'm at Francie at GlamourAcademy.com. And mine is Tanya at GlamourAcademy.com. Simple as that. So uh, we... You know, between us, I think we have enough to uh, sort of give you a little bit of guidance and, and move um, to uh, put you in a place where, you know, where you could be in the future and mm -hmm. where it is fit you um, right now in your um, you know, current situation. So um, let it be if uh, right now, if you have anything to share, if you have any questions um, that you um, want to share with us right now, Go ahead and share this live. Drop in your comment. We will, um, you know, uh, single-handedly read your comments in a moment later, right? So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I want to hear from you. Hopefully, where you are, where you have a problem that you wanted to share, whether it's uh, questions or a success story that you have, we love to hear from you. And what your story uh, have here will inspired us as well as others that are uh, coming in here with us today at the live, right? Yeah. So uh, before we move on, um, uh, by the way, don't forget your um, giveaway number. Drop yeah. in the number. <laughs> From one to, one to 100? One to 100. One to 100. Yes. We love that number. 
What else? What, what so I want to talk about the synthetic silk mink. Mm -hmm. For instance, a lot of people have asked about um, why not use real mink lashes. Good question. And mm -hmm. um, I personally, people have a lot of allergies to animal hair. Mm -hmm. So if you are using real mink lashes, you are putting that, um, some of your clients might be allergic to the, the hair right. of the animal. So what I also understand is that uh, at one point, uh, um, I believe when it first started with the, with the mink, mm -hmm. it started with the uh, Russian, so they import it in. I understand mink is an animal. That's where the word mink coiled. Mm -hmm. Starting from way up there in the Tibet, um, mm -hmm. you know, where the, where where, <laughs> where that Euro, no, upper North Euro area, um, that only area consumes a lot of uh, mink animals, mm -hmm. and uh, they they are very pretty dominant in that area. So all these women started out like you know how mink hair is, was very very short, and then um, so they they cultivated and they start making into the lashes. Once they imported here, um, in about I don't I'm not sure when you went to a show, but when I started with the show, the trade show, I started out in about 2007, mm -hmm. and um, at the trade show at the time, uh, FDA is starting to sort of like look into of all these imports um, uh, lashes, so they had stopped uh, allowing uh, imports of the real human hair or mink hair only because uh, I was told there were um, your know, insignificance or significance of different um, um, genes of um, bacteria right. that were you know embedded into the hair yep. because there are unknown sources so sometimes you know God knows all this hair or this mink were cultivated from so they are not understanding the, um, the origin of source. So they are stopping the import of the mink and the real human hair. And that's when now you don't hear about all this expensive human hair or mink hair, but we are developing synthetic and it's, mink hair. And it's so light yeah. and fluffy that it feels just like human hair or um, animal hair. Yeah. So it's really light. It's light on your um, eyelashes. Mm -hmm. It's not going to damage them. Wow, works. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's trying. We're trying to mimic the uh, as up and close to the real hair. Mm -hmm. So that way, when you wear them, you don't have to feel that it is uh, coarse and it's very harsh and and hard on your on your uh, own hair. And I so. sleep on my face a lot of the time. I know. So um, I have light. no problem. I'm not <laughs> sure about you, but my extension works perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, mine are fine. Mine are good. My last. <laughs> Will Even you? though sleeping, and I, <laughs> and, and I, I like to swim. I'm in the pool a lot, so jumping in the water. Yeah, they, yeah, they're, they're there. They right. don't come off. Right. So you know, with that one, I think I think I like our glue because what I I shower every day, and you know, uh, I don't see anything shed. So it's a little bit of uh, what <laughs> introduction to our little 0.5 glue volume sports glue right there. Yeah. So I I think. Um, uh, Anthony back there probably put in drop in the link if you're interested in the glue <laughs> but I think we got a little bit out giving you a little bit history about the mink and and the glue so um, guys uh, right now if you have any uh, questions regarding to how to start a, a lash and a permanent makeup a career as a beginner making that ten thousand dollars a month you can drop that questions in for us right now we're going to take your um, comments and questions uh, Q&A here.